Three, two, one. Welcome, Tiger fans, back to another episode of the Clemson Sports Show. And this is a breaking news edition um, as we are welcomed by the newest commit for the Clemson Tigers basketball team, 2022 pledge, Chauncey Wiggins. Chauncey, how are you doing today, man? Good, and you? I'm doing excellent. Uh, I'm going to throw it right back to you. Same question with a little, with a little bit added uh, words here. How are you doing knowing that you are a Clemson commit, that you are committed to the Tigers? Uh, I, I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real welcome by the culture and all the coaches. So, yeah. Now, now I want you to take me through it. You know, what was the process that led to you making this decision? When did you know that you wanted to commit to Clemson? I'll probably say like a day, a, a day after I took my uh, NC State visit. Because I was like, dang, all these official visits. So. I really narrowed it down to three, and I was like, yeah, I, I really want to go to Clemson because, like, uh, they just got uh, uh, Smitty into the NBA. He's with the – I forgot what team he's with. And then, like, their development, like, when I watched them practice, I think their development is big and the way Coach Brownell coaches. So, yeah. All right, so a lot of factors in there, too. I imagine that the visit that you took there uh, to, to Clemson in September earlier this month played a role, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, what did you see during that visit that you didn't, you know, that you didn't know about Clemson before? You know, what did you learn about the program? Uh, I learned I learned academics real big. Um, play style is like more of a dribble drive. Um, and probably just, like, the culture is, like, really, like, tight. So, yeah. Now, Chauncey, I got a two-part question for you here. The first part is, you know, take me through your game. You know, for people who haven't been able to watch your film, you know, what do you do well in the basketball court? What do you excel at? And then the second part is, how do you feel like you would fit in with Clemson's offense? All right, so my game is I'm versatile. I can shoot the ball, can get the rebound, push it, make the right play. I can guard one through five. Yeah. And, and then how has Clemson's coaching staff, Coach Ronell, any of his assistants talked to you about how you would fit in with, with their offense, you know, how they plan on utilizing you? Oh, yeah. Um, I was watching I was watching Hunter Tyson a lot. He was at the four spot, and he's leaving, so I feel like I can come in and play the four spot. And it was just a lot of dribble drive, catch and shoot, coming off screens, backdooring and stuff like that. So, yeah. Absolutely, man. And I want to kind of take it a little bit back to the beginning as well. Uh, when did Clemson, you know, first approach you, you know, first offer you? And what was that relationship building process like with the staff? I want to say 15U when I was playing with TSF. It was, co it was Coach Dean. He came, he came to my old school, Eastside, saw me worked out. And then I think like a couple days after he offered me. So yeah, that, that relationship is big time with me and Coach Dean. So yeah. You know, what, what, what was it like, you know, what were those conversations like with him, you know, on, on a weekly basis, uh, you know, just talking with him, chopping it up with him, you know, what, what did those conversations center around? Uh, he was he was asking me like how I'm doing, how my family's doing. Are you are you working out a lot? Are you getting stronger? Um, and he was just seeing how I was doing because he really wants me to develop into the player that I can really be. So yeah. And, and looking at Clemson's program, you know, at, at least you know some of the success that they've enjoyed, um, you know, over the past few years. What what do you think about them as a, a as a basketball team? And how they compete in a very tough ACC conference. Yeah, I think I think Clemson's really really tough. People don't look at them as tough. Um, they be in some really good schools. So yeah, I, I feel like I feel like they're kind of like the underdog of the ACC. Yeah. Do, now I'm gonna put you on the on the spot here. You know, uh, get out your crystal ball. Do you do you envision a championship with Clemson during your tenure there? Yes. Simple. Yes. <laughs> How come? Um, I feel like with with me and Co with me, like, I feel like I'll be developed, and they have good guards there, and I know they'll bring in some more good guards. And the way Coach Brownell coaches, and like the toughness, and the way they develop their players. So yeah. 
Now you talked about Tyson, how, you know, you would be utilized in their offense, you know, dribble drive, um, things like that. If you were to have like an NBA player comparison or even a, a guy in college, um, you know, besides Tyson, who would you compare your game to Chauncey? NBA, um, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis. That, that's how I try to model it after. I just try to play like them all the time. So, yeah. You, do you kind of watch their highlights, you know, on, do you go on YouTube, you know, s- see what they do, try to, you know, emulate that in your game? Yes, yes, yeah. And they go to training and work on it. So, yeah. For sure, man. And, and, you know, this is our first conversation. So, you know, I don't know what your training regimen is like, but but take me through it. You know, what do you do kind of on a daily basis to to become the player that you've become? All right. So like, I'm hurt right now. But like before I got hurt, mm-hmm. uh, this is my schedule. So. Uh, third period lift weights, right? With the with the football team, freshman football team, and then and sophomores, and then fourth period we have uh, like our basketball class, like practice. So we work out during there, work out hard for like an hour. Then uh, fifth and six go by, but but before weight training, I have two classes. So uh, after Coach Pierce class, fifth and six go by, and then we condition. All right, as a team. And then either I go home, rest and do my homework, or I go to another workout. So, yeah, I'm trying to, like, I- I'm going to get back on that page, like, after my, like, after I heal up. So, yeah. For sure, man. And I know this is a cliche, but I'm going to ask it. You know, are you one of those first in, last out type of guys in the gym? Yes, 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 yes. I try to be, yes. I'm getting there. Awesome, awesome, man. And, uh, you know, I want to kind of switch back over to Clemson uh, real quickly. You know, you mm-hmm. talked about how you said after the NC State visit that you knew that, you know, Clemson was probably going to be the place that you would go to. You know, what separated Clemson from the rest of the programs that, you know, were pursuing you? Um, I think it was big on, like, play style for me. Because I feel like, and, and the coaches, I feel like if I, ha- if I have the right coaches by my side and the play style fits me, I feel like I can – like developing that, developing that uh, program. So, yeah. No doubt about it, man. And, you know, what are you going to be your enrollment um, plans for Clemson? You know, when are you going to actually get on campus and, and be with your future teammates? Um. So graduation is looking like May, like our real graduation look like May 30th. So maybe like either at the end of May or – the first or like the first of June. Okay. And you expect to be recovered from your injury by then, correct? Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I have a hip flexor injury. So yeah. 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 How, how did you sustain that one? I think, I think I didn't stretch or something like that. And I was just trying to work out a lot. So then, yeah, I had like, I had like pulled it. I thought it was my growing, but it oh. was my, hip. so I'll be good in like a week. Oh, okay, so you, yeah. you'll, you'll be ready soon then, ready plenty of time for your senior season? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. of course, yeah, of course. What, what are you looking forward to the most about your senior year? Really just leading this team and trying to get a ring. So <laughs> I'm looking – and then, like, my accomplishments, myself, but really it's, it's about all of us as a team, so try and get a ring. Team yeah. first player, right? Yes, sir. I like that, I like that, man. Um, And, and with this senior season coming up, you know, you, you have a couple months until that begins. What are you hoping to work on with your game, you know, over these next couple months and before you arrive on Clemson's campus? Uh, really just being a being a dominant three-level scorer. Because now I can say, like, I'm a three-level scorer, but being, like, dominant, like, where nobody can stop me. And then work on just driving to the hole and uh, rebounding. So, yeah. Now, Chauncey, let's look past the basketball court real quickly. You know, looking at you, your life, you know, your inspirations, is there anybody that you really look up to that, um, you know, is a, is a role model for you? Yeah, I would say uh, my mom and dad, of course. Uh, my granddad that passed away. So I try to I, – I do it for them. And my uncle. And my two uncles, yeah. yeah. Did, did they kind of push you along in this basketball journey? Like, you know, did they kind of motivate you uh, throughout this process? Yes, of course. Uh, ever since I was like – Ever since I picked up a basketball, really, yeah. Well, well, tell me a little bit about, you know, any kind of connections that you may have with, um, you know, 
former basketball players, you know, current ones, do you like train with anybody in specific, you know, um, during the off season? Um, I would say like over overseas guys that played like one, one person I play, one person I trained with, he was overseas. Um, he played at Ole Miss. So like mostly overseas guys and some, some of the college guys. So, yeah. What's that experience like for you? You know, being able to train with guys who, even though they're playing overseas, that's tough competition. You know, the, the, M, the, the basketball is a, is a global sport, not just the NBA. You know, what, what's it like being able to train with them and, and, and learn from them as well? Really, really just, uh, really just trying to take everything in. My bad. Oh, you're all good. My bad. R- really just trying to take everything in because, like, they've been in my shoes. So, like, I'm just trying to take everything in and take uh, advantage of it. So, yeah. Did they give you a little bit of advice during this recruiting process? Because it's it's not an easy one. You know, the visits, the contact with the coaches, just trying to live a, a normal life as a high schooler. Did they kind of give you some advice? Yeah, like, they say, like, just work hard, stay in the gym, and then – uh, see see what fits you and also look at the living style because like you're going to be there every day so yeah mm-hmm. now Chauncey you know I talked about how the recruiting process can be stressful but it's also nice at times you know you get wined and dined <laughs> during the official visits you you know yeah. you get you feel really special by the coaches of programs you know are you is part of you glad that it's over or is part of you like oh man it, it was kind of over sooner than I thought it would be uh, it's it's like fifty fifty with it, yeah, mm-hmm. fifty fifty. So yeah. Do you do you what what parts of the recruiting process did you enjoy? Ooh, <laughs> eating the eating parts. <laughs> um, eating and just like seeing what's around, like the campus and stuff like that. Now, yeah. what parts didn't you enjoy about the process? Did not See, it's like I enjoy the eating part, but like sometimes I did because like, like breakfast would be at like nine, you eat again at twelve, and then like you eat again at like six or seven. So like the eating was good, but it was like okay, that's probably the only part. So yeah, yeah, that's not the normal eating schedule at all. <laughs> and I want you to take me a little bit through that official visit that you took to Clemson. Um, you know, obviously you took you know um, multiple visits, but what did you think about that time at Clemson? You know, what stood out to you the most during that trip? Really just seeing, like, re- really, it was uh, Ian, really. Because, like, Ian came in at 240. He's down to 220. And now he's, like, getting back up there to 230. But with muscle. So the way he trained in coach, like, he really made an impression. Because I'm only, like, 197, 198. I know he can give me the, like, to to 10 to 15 so yeah he made a big impression yeah okay so you're trying to get to 210 215 then yes 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 of course yes now chauncey when you finally step foot on clemson's campus you, you're a freshman mm. do, you, do you have goals of playing a lot in your freshman season or are you are, are, are you kind of um with the expectation that it may take some time before you get on the court no, I'm trying to – I'm just trying to work hard, show Coach Brown now that I'm a guy he can trust and he can put on the floor. And just however many minutes I play as a freshman, just play hard as I can. So, yeah. Absolutely, man. Love that mentality. Final thing, Chauncey, and once again, thank you for joining us today. Uh, the final thing I got for you is what, what message would you, would you give to Clemson Tiger fans who are just learning of your commitment a few minutes ago? Um. <laughs> Oh snap! Uh, I'm bringing, I'm bringing a lot to the basketball program. So yeah. yeah, great stuff. Well, Chauncey Wiggins, newest commit, newest addition to Clemson's 2022 class. Chauncey, thank you for your time today, man. No problem. No problem.